What's up guys, Chase Steiner here, and today we're gonna to be talking about how to make money with Google News, and I'm gonna be giving you a scary news hijacking method that allows us to do link injection on the posts that we're going to be sharing. Now, let me explain to you how this works, because a lot of people online right now are sharing this method that I don't really think works well. And what they're doing is they're going over to Google, and they're clicking on news, and then they're going through these different articles and they're finding the ones that are obviously trending and then they're going and rewriting these articles and publishing them. That takes a really, really long amount of time and chances are even if you do this, you're not gonna get featured in Google News. So I would not recommend that you do this method. Again, it just is very manual. You're gonna have to use AI to spin up the content. You're gonna hope that Google indexes it and it's just not a great strategy. So instead, I'm gonna give you a different strategy that allows you to get a ton of clicks to your offers, whether you're offering some sort of service, whether you're offering a uh, product or a tool or an affiliate, you're gonna be able to still share these posts and make money off of them without ever having to write them. And you're not gonna to have to do anything crazy. You don't have to spend any money. You can do this just by clicking a couple buttons and you can begin earning money very, very quickly. Here's the really cool part about all of this though. If you look at some of the automations that I'm running, you're gonna see a massive increase in clicks, traffic, and signups, and sales when you start automating what you do. And the cool thing is you can automate so much, whether you're automating affiliate offers, whether you're selling um, you know, services, really at the end of the day, we're just finding ways to use robots to help us get more traffic to things that we're selling. The first thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna be showing you how to do all of this completely manually. And then towards the end of this video, I'm gonna show you how to automate the process. And automating the process is definitely gonna be more confusing than doing it manually. But you can earn money whether you choose to do it manually or whether you choose to automate it. So the premise it, the premise of what we're doing here is we're looking things up on Google that are trending and we are going to be using a tool to basically share those posts with our offers on them. So let me show you how this works. Let's go to Google and type in make money online news. Now what we can do is we can go through the different news tab articles. So if I click on news here, I can see all the different news and I can take something that I think maybe somebody wants to see on social media. So how to use games to earn cash, that's a popular topic. How, ways to make money on TikTok, that's a big topic right now, let's do that one. And if we copy this link here, like so, we can head over to a website called Snipply. And I'll leave links to all these tools so you don't lose them. Now once you're in Snipply, you're gonna see a dashboard that looks like this. Now all you have to do to share this link that we just grabbed, remember the one we just copied here, is go to Snipply, enter the URL, and click Create Snip. Now what this is gonna do is it's going to allow you to put some sort of offer on that page when you share it. So what I can say is I can do a call to action Click on new call to action, choose an image if I'd like, choose a button, a form, you can have them enter their email. Um, I just like to do the button. And this is kind of where uh, you want to monetize. So th at this point, this, is, this kind of comes down to how you want to monetize it. I really like getting people to sign up for like affiliate links. So whenever they sign up, I make money or um, have them sign up for you know a service or like some sort of free website help just anything that you think you can monetize so let's just say sign up for free Jasper AI tool because we know Jasper is a tool that gets a ton of signups and makes money um, I'll actually show you just in the last few months I've been making a ton of money with this tool all I had to do was uh, promote the affiliate program on the tool so let's say we go to this tool, jasper.ai, uh, apply to be a partner. Then they give us a link here, and we just copy that link. Now we can put this, click here, and the button URL is that. So now if I click continue, I can change the coloring if I want. 
click continue. I'm gonna get this link here, right? Now anybody who clicks on this link, it's gonna track in my dashboard. You can, you can see I got one click and zero conversions because nobody clicked on the conversion link yet. I'll show you this with another page. If I click on this one, show you what this one looks like. Boom, Google says don't publish or empty or blank pages and then boom, here's my opt-in right there. So when they click on it, it takes them to whatever my offer is. So that's gonna scroll with them and then they're gonna see that pop up anytime they go and read a news article. So that's sort of the manual way of doing this. You're just gonna go find different trending things, click on it and then turn it into, copy the page and then snip it and turn it into some sort of offer. So we'd go back here, enter URL, create snip, Again, this is another article that we can share and we could change our call to action. We could keep that one. You can create multiple call to actions. We're gonna say this one's for Jasper. Click on snip, copy it, check out what the page looks like. There it is. There it is, sign up for the free Jasper tool. And uh, I can also go and share this on, and I can also go and share this on different Facebook groups. I can share this you know, on my personal profile, I can share it wherever I want. I shared this one on a Facebook group about two minutes ago and it's already got 10 clicks to the post. So just imagine if you were joined like 50 groups, how many clicks you'd end up getting just by doing this. But let me actually show you how you can automate this because you can have robots go and um, fill your feeds like this on autopilot without you having to do anything manual. So let's talk about the first thing we're gonna wanna do, which is heading over to Google Alerts because we actually wanna automate this. And I will show you, if we go over to Google Alerts, let me actually just show you what this looks like. Google Alerts, and I'll type this in the description of this video as well. This is what we're gonna see. Here's all my past alerts. So let's say I wanted to get alerts for, I don't know, new things around paleo or new things around weight loss. So I'm gonna create, click on create alert. I'm gonna edit it with this little edit symbol and you can see it shows how often I want to get um, updates about weight loss. I'm gonna say as it happens. Sources are gonna be automatic. I can also choose from which sources if I want. Language is gonna be English. So if I wanted to change this method, this method will work in any language. Um, I'm gonna specify the region, I'm gonna do United States. How many results, I'm gonna do only the best. And then instead of it delivering it to my email, I'm gonna click on RSS feed, okay? So if I click update, now I have this little button here, and if I click on that, it's an RSS feed. So this is basically all of the different posts that um, I can share. I can, I can automate sharing all these different posts to my social media following. So I can use some sort of tool to plug this RSS feed into, and if the tool runs every day, let's say I specify three times a day, this post will get shared on places like Twitter or places like Facebook, okay? Now you might be wondering, well, why would you just share a random article to Google like this? And the, the truth is I wouldn't. This is not how I'm, I would recommend you do this. What you wanna do is you wanna take that RSS feed that you got, the one that we got from Google right here, this was the RSS feed, and we wanna go over to a tool called Snipply. And if you're not familiar with what this tool is, it's a tool that allows you to shorten links, but it does something kind of sneaky. So Snipply here says, add a call to action to every shortened link you share. So if I share, let's say your website, let's say you gave me your website URL right now, and I shared it with Snipply, it would actually put a pop-up that says, go buy from Chase Reiner, which is kind of crazy, right? Because you wouldn't want that. You'd want them to buy from you, but this tool allows you to do that. And so <clears throat> once you sign into Snipply, grab the free trial, um, what you're gonna do is you're going to go to the manage section, or sorry, integrations, RSS feeds. And now if you paste up here your RSS feed, click on create snip, it's going to say, okay, well we can't show call to actions on this page. So you can, you can select this so that it forces it to show a call to actions on whatever pages you're sharing. But if, if it says that it can't share call to actions on the page that you're using, then just try to go for something a little bit different. So we'll go for, uh, well, I already did one, make money online. Here it is. Copy that link, go over here, and we'll paste that, snip. 
Okay, so we're good to go. So this one didn't say we can't share your links on this. So we're gonna copy this. Now this is the link that we want. This is a link to our RSS feed. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna end up feeding this RSS into a, a tool that's gonna automatically post for us. So let me just show you by the, by the way, how you can do this manually. So if that already kind of confused, confused you and you don't really wanna start setting up RSS feeds to automatically post for you, either way, now if you go into this tool, you're gonna get all of the links from that RSS feed and you can just manually share them yourself. So if I click on this link here and I go over to Facebook, Google says don't publish empty or blank pages. So we're gonna go here. I can go into different Facebook groups. Let's say I go into SEO group. And again, this is the manual way of doing it, but I'm gonna show you how to automate this. But let's say you go into this group and you're gonna say, Google says not to publish empty or blank pages. What do you think? So I'm sharing this in somebody else's group with 40,000 members in it, right? As soon as they get to the page, the article to go read it, my pop-up's gonna hear, be here. It says join Chase Runner's free giveaway. I can also say, you know, grab my affiliate link, grab my, you know, tool. So I'll show you how to change the call to action. It's very simple. So if I go to um, dashboard, call to actions, um, here's some call to actions I've already made. So let's just say I click on this one. I can click on edit. And so instead of it being, you know, join my giveaway, I could say grab Shine Ranker now. And then if, for instance, I was an affiliate of Shine Ranker, I could put my affiliate link there. So anytime somebody go gets a Shine Ranker, signs up, I get paid. So you can do it with whatever call to actions you want. You can create multiple call to actions. You can get new ones just by clicking on new call to actions. But you can see just from me sharing news, and I've only done this a couple times, I got 123 clicks on this post with seven conversions. I got 551 clicks on this post with 10 conversions. And so um, if you think about that, if you can start getting, let's say, you know, you start sending, tre start sharing trending articles, you get two or three, vi th two or 300 visits a day to those trending articles from Google News. And let's say only 1% of those converts into a sale. Sales worth, I don't know, 50 bucks. You're already making $100 a day. And the best part again is that you can automate this, right? Because what we can do is instead of manually having to share all these links, we can go over to a tool called Zapier. So if we go over to Zapier, and I click on create zap, I can say RSS, oops, and we're gonna say whenever there's a new item in the RSS feed, continue. I can enter the URL, the Snipply RSS that we got. So all we have to do is go to integrations, RSS feeds, Copy the RSS, plug it in, test trigger, make sure it works. Okay, so you can see teaching young adults financial liter literacy for the digital age, continue. And then I can choose whatever platform I want. So if I want to post on Twitter, if I want to post on Discord, if I want to post on Facebook, I can do that. I can do it to all of them, right? So let's just say I want to post to my Facebook group or multiple Facebook groups, post a message, continue. And then I can start choosing the different groups I want to post to. And then the message. So the message is just whatever I want to send. So I can send, here's the, you know, the title, say whatever it is. And then I can send the, put the URL here. So now if I press continue, this is just gonna autopilot send this anytime a new item hits this, and I can set this up for Twitter, Facebook, uh, you know, email, everything. Um, and then anytime somebody goes, I'll just show you an example. I, this is firing on autopilot for me on Twitter right now. So this is posting on Twitter. That was the bad one. So this is posted on Twitter and it says, wow, check this out. Making money while enjoying football. They click on it and 
There's the opt-in right there. Thousand dollar giveaway enter now, it takes me to my website. So I can start grabbing a bunch of traffic and using it as my own. And I can also just, if I wanted to, you know, sell, sell stuff. I could also say, hey, you know, get some free SEO services now, click on my link. So you could use this method to sell services, to, you know, to sell affiliates, to do giveaways, whatever you want, but you're gonna start being able to get, grab a lot of traffic by just writing these trends with these articles that people are already sharing on social media, except now you're automating getting your link there and you're actually getting your, your, the news out before anybody else. So like this just shared on the Facebook group as well. You can see make money um, enjoying football. So people are clicking on that post now, not five clicks already, okay. And imagine if you were doing this two or three times a day on all your different social media profiles, one, you're gonna be growing your social media uh, presence, but two, you're gonna be getting um, a ton of people signing up for your offers automated just by using this method. Now, by the way, I've been thinking about creating a full live automation training on Zoom where you can join and ask me questions. I'm going to obviously include replays with that. It would be a paid class, but it's something a lot of people have been asking me for. So if you're interested in something like that, please let me know in the comments. Um, just say, yes, I'm interested in a paid automation course and I'll look into putting that together. But that's it for today. We'll see you in the next one. And thanks for stopping by. We'll see you guys, bye.